Hi, welcome to day four of Pubmas. Um, today I am going to share with you something that I spontaneously recorded with Elle Croft um, of A Bird in the Hand travel blog when we were in Japan. We just had maybe, I don't know, 45 minutes of downtime or something and we went back to our hotel room and um, had a chat and we were like, oh, let's just record this because it might be kind of interesting. Um, so we're pretty fast, <laughs> we're speaking really fast. I think it only ended up being about eight minutes. Um, I think we didn't want to go over, we were trying to keep it snappy. Um, so anyway, so that's why I've recorded this to give a bit of background. The reason we decided to talk about the topic that we were talking about was because um, in blogging, I guess, your reputation is kind of everything. So um, when you go on your first press trip, um, it's really important to follow etiquette. We've all been there, like I haven't been super professional all of the time and I look back at some things and just cringe at my behaviour. I've never done anything like been rude or got absolutely hammered or not delivered what I said I was going to deliver, but little things like that can ruin your reputation. And I guess because there isn't a set thing of rules to follow, like it's easy to just fall into the trap of think of getting a bit entitled. Um, and... We, I mean, we didn't, I suppose this is a bit of a stupid ramble. And the other thing that can happen is um, if something goes wrong and if you don't like the trip that you've been on, um, it doesn't have to be a trip. It, this could relate to everything. We've, we're talking about it in terms of our experience, which is um, travel, but um, you could relate it to anything. Say somebody sent you a product to review and you're really excited and actually it was terrible. It brought you out in a rash. What do you do? Like... Do you feel as though you have to rave about it? No, we think not. But there are, but it's not as clear cut as that, is it? Because you, you're a professional. So, anyway, so that's what we decided to talk about: what to do if, um, in a brand collaboration situation, <laughs> things aren't quite right. Um, what happens next? Enjoy. <laughs> Elle and I, you will remember her from one of the episodes that I'll link to in the show notes. We are going to talk about why it's super important to be honest when you're writing a review. So when you go on a press trip and you go to a hotel and or wherever you go and you hate it and you come back and you're like, shit, I need to write a really nice thing about it. This is why you shouldn't go. Well, so <laughs> I've just had a personal experience of taking a blogger's recommendation and then regretting it a lot afterwards. So it was a... Yeah. Um, it was accommodation on a trip that I went on and I read about this property and trusted the blogger's recommendation and turned up and it was absolutely nothing like described and it was just shocking. It was dirty and horrible and I felt unsafe and I just had the worst night's sleep ever and I had friends with me who were trusting me to make a good recommendation as well. Um, so I, it just was such a letdown. I let them down and I just felt completely duped. Um, and actually it's been a useful experience for now reviewing stuff because now I think about that every time. Because I... you don't, uh, you, so that, so the recommendation that you took or the person that you took the recommendation of, you won't trust them again. I will right? never use their yeah. blog to find a recommendation yeah. again, yeah. And that's just one tiny review and that person maybe um didn't even realize that yeah. just pleasing the brand or maybe like we don't know we're we're totally um assuming things but let's just say for argument's sake that they reviewed this brand were paid to review this brand then felt really awkward that it was shit but just thought i'm getting paid or whatever so i'm gonna give them a glowing review mm -hmm. That's it. That's that one tiny, tiny bit of copy that means that you're not going to read any of their other stuff. And this person might want to sell things in the future, like guides and stuff. You're never going to buy them. No. And I think it is just, you, you might not think about the big picture, or you might not even believe that you have enough influence for someone to book something yes. directly. Like, you, you might not actually believe that that's happening, but if it does happen... If it's happening and pe people probably aren't telling you, if they're having a good experience, if they are taking a recommendation and mm -hmm. having a good experience, they're probably not coming back to you to tell you that. Yeah. But if if it happens that you recommend something 
and then someone has a bad experience, they will probably tell you that they've had that bad experience. So what should you do? Because so I've had bad experiences before and the first thing I've done is go back to the hotel or go back to the PR that's organised it and then said this part about the trip wasn't great. Um, these are the reasons why and given them the option to kind of actually it's not really even giving them the option to argue it back it's more to give them the heads up mm. like I'm probably not going to include this in my review yeah or what so what what would you do in that well, situation what do you do I've been quite lucky in that the only really negative experiences I've had are more to do with either the people I'm with that I haven't got along with or just yeah. like they've yeah like they've been divas stuff. or whatever, and that's been yeah. painful for me. Or like the PR didn't necessarily create a particularly good itinerary or whatever, yeah. which isn't the fault of the destination. So and usually, that's another thing that you need to separate as well, I suppose. Yeah. First of all, separate whether it's um, a circumstantial thing or something that if anybody else booked the trip, they would have to deal with. Because if it's anything yeah. to do with like yeah. The, people that you have to travel with then obviously like. yeah but sometimes that can color your whole yeah, experience totally. and so you think you've had a terrible trip but actually the destination was great and had a lot going yes. for it so i try and focus on the destination because that's what i'm writing about anyway yeah um and there's always something good to find in a destination i mean i've never been to somewhere that i can't find something good in the destination or where i would just recommend that people don't travel to yeah or then i just wouldn't blog about it but then i've ne- yeah i've never been somewhere where i have pressure to write about it i really hated luck now in india don't go there it's shit but actually i did manage to find um the best kebab shop in the world oh, there so nice. but but i wasn't being paid to go there so yeah that's the thing i've been to places that i hated but not on a trip that's like a yeah. blog trip so i haven't needed you don't to write have the about conundrum. it like yeah yeah like don't go to canberra just, but <laughs> I've never needed to like, be in that position of having to make it sound great. Um, I'm sure there's great things, whatever. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm whatever. Australian, I'm allowed to hate it. Um, but also, I've never had a really awful hotel experience. I've stayed in hotels that I've hated, Yeah, but I have a very specific type of hotel that I love. And But there are people who I know would yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah, the hotel that I've stayed at or that just want a cheap hotel and so they don't care if it's like the most cute boutique place ever so again i i tend to just find like the good thing in it but i will be honest about it i'll be like this isn't boutique it's not luxury but yes. if you are looking for a yeah. cheap hotel in this area this might be a good option for you so i kind of try and frame it in like here's who it might be for yeah here's who it's probably not for yeah that's a good way of Work doing out it which... then you're not being an arsehole you're not just ranting for ranting yeah thing. because not i feel like the biggest thing with like with everyone's blog it's so personal and nobody really wants to write a a trip advisor review mm. on their blog no. it's not that we don't we don't want to be honest it's that we don't want a boring old whiny blog full of this hotel was rubbish yeah and i hated this because of this but if you can frame it in a different way yeah so these are our i'm going to summarize because can i put one more thing in real quick no yeah you can so i have <laughs> stayed at one hotel that i absolutely hated and never would have recommended oh. and i put it in the blog post that I did, the blog post was about the destination. It was like a guide to the destination. And in the accommodation section, I wrote, I stayed here. It was booked for me for this trip. I wouldn't recommend it at all. Here are some options that I found online, like Airbnbs or hotels that uh. look like they'd be great options. But the whole post was really positive about the destination. How did you deal with that? So was... Well, I didn't, I mean, we told the PR that we didn't love it. And she right. was like, okay. She right. didn't freak out. I don't so you think... just, you went back to the PR on that? I did, but I wouldn't have, then... I've still... I wouldn't have felt like I needed to. I would have still yes. included it, and because the post was positive overall. But I think that's. But I think it's nice to go back to the PR because it's just courtesy. Because yeah. they, it's not nice for them to read a blog post that's great and yeah. they're like, oh, why can't? Because they have to arrange press trips going forward yeah. as well. So it's important that you go back to them. I think. But she wasn't working directly with the brand, the hotel brand. So right. for her, it was yeah. kind of like whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So it was a bit different, but I was just like quite honest in my post about that yeah we'll link to it in the show notes so you can see how to kind of frame things in a good way um so i think our tips would be if you go on a press trip or whatever you go to a hotel for a review you hate it don't know how to blog about it number one maybe go back to the person who's organized it for you and just let them know 
Number two, frame it in a different, find a way to frame it in a different way. And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to make that disingenuous. It can be very, very honest and genuine, but it doesn't need to be bitchy. And number three, don't, don't be bitchy and don't lie. Yeah. Don't lie. Yeah. I think that's the thing. Think about, think about your readers and if someone booked it, would they come back to you angry? You just, you only have your reputation, I think, as a blogger. So, yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it from us for today. And by the way, we're in Japan. (laughs) 